So it has been said that maths is a language. So in this video, we're going to learn two new words or symbols, and then we're going to use those in a bunch of mathematical sentences. So the two new symbols we're going to learn is this one here, an upside down A, and this one here, a backwards capital E. So the first one here means for all. Easy to remember, all, upside down A. And this one means there exists. And this one's also easy to remember, E backwards E. Okay, let's look at a mathematical sentence. All right, now we have to read this the same way that we would read any other sentence. All right, what does that mean? For all, for all X in the set of real numbers, x squared is greater than zero. All right, so think about that in your head for a second. For all numbers in the real numbers, for all numbers on the number line, x squared is greater than zero. That's true. All right, that's what that sentence says. For all numbers in the set of real numbers, the number squared is greater than or equal to zero. Understand the game? All right, here's another sentence. Read it. Pause it, think about it. I'm going to read it now. There exists a number x in the set of real numbers such that x squared is equal to the square root of x. So there is some number that that is true for. Now, I will say, some people believe you probably don't need that such that there. You could probably just say, there exists a number in the set of real numbers, x squared is equal to root x, but let's keep the such that there. We've got language we're trying to communicate. It's a bit ambiguous as to whether you should put it there or not. All right, so that's what that says. Uh, another one? All right, what does this say? Pause it, try it. For all numbers, now I've been using x's so far, but we can use n's, p's, q's, doesn't matter. For all numbers in the set of positive integers, the square root of n is less than n. All right, so what's most important to me here is that you can read these mathematical sentences. Writing them, you might find that trickier, but reading them, that's the important part. All right, what else have we got? There exists a number in the set of real numbers such that n squared is less than n. Again, we're using that such that there for clarity. Maybe you don't need it. Okay, next up, this is the last one. Okay, there's a lot going on here, so let's read through it slowly. There exists a number in the set of integers such that all a different number in the set of real numbers x plus y equals y. All right, so there exists some integer such that it doesn't matter what number you add to it, you're going to get the number that you added to it. And that integer is zero. Zero plus any number makes the number that you started with. All right, so it's a bit of a, a doozy there. You can see we've got both of our symbols. That's why we're finishing on that one. Okay, like I said, the most important thing to me is that you can look at the yellow writing and interpret what it's saying. That's what we're trying to do here. All right, two new symbols and a new way of writing mathematical sentences.